In this question, we have to find out the total amount of charge that flows from the Y terminal to the X terminal when the switch S is closed. So, first we'll find out the total charge at the X terminal when the switch is open and then the to amount of charge on the X terminal when the switch is closed. The difference of that will give us the amount of charge that has flown from Y to X. Now let us have a look at the case 1 when the switch S is open. In this case, both the capacitors are connected in series. So, C equivalent is given by C1 into C2 upon C1 plus C2 which is equal to 3 into 6 upon 3 plus 6 which equals 2 microfarads. We know that the total potential difference across the circuit is 9 volts. As Q is equal to CV, we find out that Q is equal to 18 microcoulombs, which is distributed in the following manner. So, the total charge at the X terminal QX1 is equal to 18 microcoulombs. Now let us have a look at the case 2 when the switch S is closed. The total resistance in this case is 9 ohms and the total potential difference is 9 volts. So applying V is equal to IR we get I is equal to 1 ampere. So the potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor is 3 volts which is same as the potential difference across the 3 microfarad capacitor. Similarly, the potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor is 6 volts which is same as the potential difference across the 6 microfarad capacitor. So the charge at the 3 microfarad capacitor is equal to 9 microcoulombs. Charge on the 6 microfarad capacitor is equal to 36 microcoulombs. which is distributed in the following manner. So, the total charge at the X terminal is 9 microcoulombs plus 36 microcoulombs which is equal to 45 microcoulombs. So, the total charge that flows from the Y terminal to the X terminal when the switch S is closed is QX2 minus QX1 that is equal to 45 microcoulombs minus 18 microcoulombs that equals 27 microcoulombs. Hence the answer is option C.